Hello and welcome back to the Brandon Can Win channel. I hope you guys had happy holidays as well as a awesome new year. Hopefully you didn't get too drunk and wasted and hung over the next day. I can't drink because I have epilepsy and that's not good for my medication. Anyway, so this video is, it's technically the 100 subscriber special, but it's an update. Usually I have my updates on uh, my second channel, which is Brandon Can Live. I haven't actually posted on that channel in a while. Ugh. I figured I would share it here because I got a lot of new people like from I believe before I started posting Suicide Squad content I had maybe 90 subscribers I think maybe 80 and then it just jumped up to now at the point of filming this I think it said I had 111 subscribers which is crazy I think I gained 10 11 subscribers without uploading a video <laughs> yeah I'm glad people are seeing my content I'm glad people are enjoying my content and I figure, you know what, I owe it to my audience to at least let you guys know what my game plan is, especially since, you know, I've been making a lot of Suicide Squad content, and two of them have been kind of theories, or like, kind of like story theories. Like, I had the one with, like, Wonder Woman's role, and then I had that Flashpoint video that happened, I think, literally right before those leaks. But yeah, we're not going to talk about leaks. This is a safe place. This is a safe place. What we are going to talk about is my game plan between now and then kind of March and beyond because January and February are going to be packed with Suicide Squad content but I also want to kind of refer you guys to other videos and kind of tell you guys kind of what I have planned coming up. Also this isn't just strictly for YouTube this is going to involve Twitch as well because I have been streaming on Twitch. That's kind of what I've been doing between like Christmas and now I was streaming Spider-Man 2. I know I've been talking about how I've been talking recently about how shit Marvel's becoming. I will say though anything tied to Spider-Man I am more attached to because I grew up with Spider-Man and you know I it's, he's the reason I wanted to get into the MCU because I wanted to see Homecoming but I was like okay I need to see this movie first and then this movie and I was like oh. and I have a whole video idea just talking about cinematic universes especially since the DCU recently ended so yeah i think that'd be a fun video to do i might make that one of my next videos but my next one's gonna be suicide squad related so yeah spoilers anyway so january like i said i'll be resuming suicide squad related content especially since we are less than a month away from actually getting the game it's crazy it's actually insane like when was this game announced like t four years ago <laughs> maybe two i don't i don't quite remember but yeah, I have a couple videos like planned for that and then post launch we'll get into that. But you know, I'm going to the next video, it's gonna be just pretty much a hype video, but then I have like one or two theory videos and then I have a special King Shark video I wanna do. So yeah. I look forward to doing those. It'll be all Gotham Knight footage because I'm still playing through that. Cause like I said, I took a break to play Spider-Man 2 and stream that. And also Pokemon Scarlet had to drop the DLC, so I played through that, and I recently just finished it in my own time. There's another game that I tr I uh, got my eyes on, like, a couple months ago. If you've been subscribed to my channel for, like, the past year, you know what I'm talking about. It's Bionicle Master Power. Allegedly, the demo is coming out, I think, between January and March. They might have an actual release date. I haven't watched the trailer for the demo in a while. But I'm excited to play that, and when it comes out, I will be sure to ha ha give you guys my thoughts. And then on my second channel, Brandon Can Live, I'll have the uh, cut-up version of the stream I'm going to do when I, play when I play the demo. And then also, I plan on hopefully beating Arkham Knight this month, because I don't really have any other games to play right now anyways. And... Like I said, this is less than a month before Suicide Squad comes out. So I do want to make a video talking about the Arkham games, my experience, minus Origins, because I didn't get Origins. I only got what was in the collection. I got them on PC too, so I, I did good when it came to my selection. I didn't get the Switch version. And then, yeah, maybe in between I'll have other content up. So, yeah, that's what January looks like. So let's move on to February. So February, I'm going to make more Suicide Squad content, but it's going to look a lot different. What I mean by that is, like I said, theory, speculation videos. I love doing those. But once the game's out, the only thing we can speculate on is stuff that's going to come out in the future. 
when it comes to base game story, we have that in the palm of our hands, in our controllers, in our keyboards, or however you're going to play it. But the speculation video on the main story, that's going to be out the window. It's mainly going to be like, okay, what DLC characters are we getting? What kind of skins might we get? Stuff like that. But the main thing I'm going to focus on, at least early in the month, is gameplay footage. I want to show you guys me playing the game like an hour of just gameplay with like some commentary in one once in a while. I plan to show off some footage of King Shark and of Harley Quinn. The footage I show will be what I'm something I'm not streaming so that you can see like the whole UI and everything and there's not much distraction like a chat, you know, or anything like that. It's mainly just going to be me doing side quests on my own or just trying to up the battle pass. I don't know how the game works yet a hundred percent so because i haven't played it <laughs> so i'm just going to show you guys an hour of footage just if you're still on the fence if you want the game or not just to kind of give you a look inside there's not gonna be any story spoilers nothing then of course if i do beat the main campaign in february then i am going to got, give you guys my thoughts on it now that sounds like i'll be pushing out a lot of content um probably not for the fact that <laughs> see february is a bad month but also a good month for me. It's a good month because one, it's my birthday month. Two, three games that I've been looking forward to officially comes out. That's Suicide Squad, that's Persona 3 Reload, and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. They all come out in February. And I want to stream all three of them. That's why it's a bad month for this channel because I'm going to be streaming that a lot. So, yeah. Also, I might not beat Suicide Squad like before everyone else because Persona 3 Reload comes out the same day pretty much. Though I will say Suicide Squad, since I got the Digital Deluxe Edition, yes, I officially also pre-ordered the game. Yay. Pat, pat's on the back. I do get to play it a couple days early, so that gives Suicide Squad a bit of an edge when it comes to completing the story before Persona 3. But yeah, expect Suicide Squad content, a lot of it between now and um february but in february don't expect a to the amount of content i've been pushing out because yeah so march and beyond um i do plan on keeping making videos but i'm going to shift my focus on if anything probably pushing bionicle mass of power more because that's a game i really need to push i really want to push that game for a different reason than Suicide Squad, because Suicide Squad, it's a game I'm pushing because, you know, I want it to do well, I want it to last a while, I want to get old. I want the game to succeed. The Bionicle one is because, if you guys all know, it's made by a team called Team Kanohi, and it's not an official LEGO licensed game. It's technically a fan game. Well, it is a fan game. But LEGO says they cannot make money off of it, yet they're making this huge open world Bionicle game, and... I just have to say respect and it looks gorgeous and it's like they're doing this making no money so I at least want people to play have the experience of playing the game if that's the way I can help these guys if I can't pay them then I'll push this game so I'll be giving continual updates on that game I will give updates on added on stuff to Suicide Squad but I'll also be making the normal content I've been making so yeah so that's pretty much what March and Beyond is going to be looking like. I want to really quick, kind of just to give you guys an idea who are new here, what my normal content kind of looks like. I want to refer you to me trying to do voice impressions. I want, for the Bionicle Master Power thing, I want to refer you to the video where I talk about it. That there's a Bionicle fan game being made, you know, I forgot what that one's called. And then I also want to refer you to probably one of my favorite videos I've ever made, which is reacting to video game commercials from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. No, the 80s and 90s, I think, or something like that. I really liked that video, and I want to do a sequel to it. So if you guys could check that out and let me know some feedback on that, then yeah. And like I said, if you guys are here for those Suicide Squad updates, you will still be getting them. But as time does go on past launch, it'll be less and less of that. So yeah, I know this video was not really a super special, crazy milestone special. I know it was not that like at all, but you know, it's what I could do to work with. But like I said, I appreciate every single one of you. 
I know some people are probably out there saying, oh, 100 subscribers isn't that much. I don't care. In the grand scheme of things, if one person's watching my video, then that's perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with that. So, I love making videos for YouTube. It's such, it's kind of like an outlet and an escape for me. And just me being able to talk to like-minded people as well. So, now before I go, I want to just kind of promote some things. Be sure to subscribe to my second channel, Brannikin Live. I do plan to post more on there, I know. Like for the past like five videos at the outro, it's probably shown like the same one video. I do want to post more on there, but I also want to kind of prioritize this channel as well. So it's kind of hard to balance the two. But go ahead and subscribe to Brandon Can Live. Go follow Brandon Can Win on Twitch. I will. That's where I'll be streaming Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League story. On TikTok, Brandon Can Win. I post stream highlights there. I place. I post a. Uh, Final records showing off and a bunch of other random TikToky stuff. So if you want to watch that, go check that out. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell when you do. And uh, yeah, so long and good night.